church, <laughs> the man might get stuck, but he still was operating. They were still in there. Because when a person leaves, his money leaves. <laughs> yep. If you want to know when a person leaves, check out his money. You'll find out. That's the first thing they leave. Amen. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I, all I got to do is look at the yeah. records. She ain't going nowhere. But when you go, I look. They ain't paid that last month. I said, they go. <laughs> but they leaving. Because the first thing, if you want to know where a man at, all you got to do is look at his money. When his money leaves, he's on his way out too. It's called contribution. Anything you support, you put money in it. That's called fellowship. Y'all don't know that. Even for the days of your father's... Now look at it. Will a man rob God? Yet yeah, he yeah, robbed me. Now notice. He said you robbed me. He didn't say you robbed the pastor. You, he said you robbed God. Amen. Did you understand what you just did? You robbed God. You better rob the federal bank. But when you rob God, you're going to jail. <laughs> That's a hell. <laughs> when a man robbed God, yet he had robbed me. See, you got smart because you said, I made this money. You the one said, God bless you with this job. Right. God bless you with these blessings. God gave you this. God, you love to say that. God bless me with this job. God bless me with this apartment. God gave me this money. But when it's time for you to pay, but you say, there you go. We ain't have I robbed God. I ain't robbed nobody. I don't even know how God looks like. I'm gonna rob. I don't even know what God's pocket is at. He said, you know where his pocket is at. Where in have he robbed me? Where? <laughs> Don't worry about the world. You the one in it. You are what? <laughs> For you are what? In order to rob somebody, you got to take what's theirs. God can do this because God owns everything. You have come with it before. You have robbed me, even this whole nation. Now, read us to you. What is that? He asked nobody to call you and see if you can bring it. Right. right. He didn't did tell you to knock on your door and say, Robert, it's time to pay the tax. <laughs> he did not say that. He did not. You see, Apple, she cannot get on the phone and call Jane and say, pay your tax. That's against Bible. Look. Breathe. <laughs> You're supposed to bring them willingly. See the word breathe? Nobody for the fortune and nobody got to ask you. He told you to bring it. And when you bring something, you got to fully bring it. If you bring it with tightness, you have not got it. Then you should have kept it in your pocket and kept your curse. He said, bring all of them. Would you do a shortcut in God when he told you to bring it all? Anybody know what all mean? You can hold on to $25. <laughs> oh, hold on. You got 20 cakes and you can hold on to two. When you know you're supposed to break in 20. That's how we do God. You break it, if it got to kill you, here you go, Lord. Will I trust you? I don't trust man. Yes, Lord. And you first want to talk about I don't trust no man. God don't trust you. <laughs> That's right, girl. God said bring it. 
Bring is you got to break it. Don't nobody have to call you. He said, bring the first increase. Right off the top. You, if you take about a challenge, you're going to spin them. I want to know why we hold stuff till I hold it till I get back. Like God waiting on you. <laughs> and then you're going to get in the bag and the devil fix it when your whole engine blow up. Then you're going to spin it. I got to spin these tires. That's why you need to blow it up. You, you're cursed. Hey, one time, gave for the cup of water off. It was, it was a high deal. I had the money to pay it. Since I owned the house, I had to pay for the meter. It was about $700 something dollars. I had to pay it. So, B was going out of town, and I was an altar worker, and I went alone. And me and his son drove ahead of them. And then, as I was leaving, the lady called. I said, well, do what you're big enough to do. It's, it was so big, she turned it off immediately because I got smart. She turned it off. Did she treat it? She turned it off. She said, 700, uh, uh, oh, we'll turn it back on. I said, oh, Lord. I said, well, turn it off. I left. And didn't worry about no more. And I took that money and paid tax. And what about my business? I said, I've been out with water before. But she said, I haven't. <laughs> I got the watch. I'm a woman. So I, got, I said, well, I, I just let it be what it be. Wait till Monday. So Michigan preach. We turned folks. Me and the son came back home. I ride with him. And, and we ride, we stopped at the 80s. It was on Highway 80. Yeah. I stopped there to use the bathroom. So Mr. Son was behind me. And I was in the front. As I was walking in, I kicked the whole ball of money. And I kicked it. It went up. And I, I'm telling you, I don't know how I did it. I just... <laughs> I stacked that money up with my head straight forward and went into the stalls. <laughs> I forgot to use the bathroom. <laughs> I went in there. I said, I know it's a lot. I went out. It, it's wrapped up in a rubber band. It was fat, too. I jumped in the car. He came out. He said, roaches. Next. <laughs> See, I ain't want to tell him because he want to. I, I already know he want to cut. I didn't tell him until two weeks later. He said, "You're dead, dead dog." <laughs> Look, since I had all that money, I didn't even count it. I went till I got home. I got home. Guess what? It was the money to pay the bill and everything. Uh, God has proven it to me. Many a time, what do you do? That's why he said, prove me now. And he had proven to me that what he said, I'm going to do. And it will work for me. You got no faith, that's what it is. You love money no more than you love God. I trusted God. And God made a way. You had my wife. We see some stuff. I paid tax, and I, 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 we didn't have no food in the house. None. I went to the bathroom. I hollered out to Trina. I said, Trina, what you cooking? She said, nothing, because we ain't got nothing. Trina, am I lying? I said, oh, Lord. I got to get up and find some food. As I was in the bathroom, the doorbell rang. I went down there. Nobody was out there. Groceries everywhere. Steaks, fruit loops, all that. What? <laughs> Man, I opened the fruit loop, got me some milk. 
country, don't fool with me, don't fool with me. So I told Bishop, I said, there you go, full of pride, God for the take that from me. Just thank God for what he did. He can either be overdo it, underdo it, and don't do it at all. I said, Bishop, you're right. I said, break, don't fool with it. It wasn't you, God. I said, I was joking, but the bitch straight me out. I said, man, oh, you better get going. Glory to God. Yes. <laughs> Look, bring you all the time. Yes. Quit shorthanding God. Okay. I'm going to keep this, uh, this $5. Cause, uh, I'm going uh, uh, to buy me something to drink. Uh. <laughs> if you can, can I tell you something? If you pay God up front, you wouldn't have to take that. That's right. Come back. You, you held on to it too long and you spent it on something extra. Yeah. <laughs> God, God will blow that money. He'll, he'll let your electric bill go up. <laughs> he, when, you, when God starts blessing, He starts opening up doors for you. When you curse, nothing opens. And you wonder, what's wrong? You curse. <laughs> Guess what? And you're going to try to confess it. Huh? You got to pay back what you did. <laughs> That's right. Bring in all the dad to the storehouse. Put the word storehouse. Somebody tell me this was a store. <laughs> a business. You know, somebody with a business. Hello, take your money to the grocery store. <laughs> to Walmart. <Yeah>. Spend God's money. <laughs> Who's in that? <laughs> treasure. <laughs> Look, the treasure for this treasure is her. Who's in house? God's house. Yes, Lord. Don't we call this the house of God? You see that? Store house. Treasure. And anytime you deal with money, it's business. Go back. Bring in all the tiff unto the storehouse. That they may be what? Me and my what? Now, look. His house is the church. He said, my house. Not your house. Not the storehouse. It's his house. You see that? My house. And prove me now. He will say who? If I will not open you the windows of heaven. Look. And pour you out. A blessing that there should not be room enough to receive it. Man, God stop blessing you. You have shoes you don't even wear. <laughs> clothes full of clothes full of clothes. You, know, you got some clothes you don't know what to wear. <laughs> I remember when you had two dresses, two, three dresses, couple coats, couple pairs. Now you can't even get in the clothes. Who hit me? I got so many clothes, it filled a whole room. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> we used to have clothes together, just me and her. She had this side. Look, I had to move out. <laughs> you know, I had to move out. Because we got so much clothes. I had to build a new closet. 
She said, I didn't know you had this many shoes. I didn't know. <laughs> and I ain't talking about cheap clothes or cheap shoes. God just filled it. He just opened up the door or something. He know I'm in this field. I, uh, I got to wear suits. That's my business. <laughs> I got track suits and all okay, just to work out, and I haven't even put them on. You see the shirt? Second time wearing it. Been had it for about five years. <laughs> I said, let me wear this shirt. Good God. That don't make no sense. I knew it was a nice shirt. But I went on all the other shirts. I forgot about this one. So I said, let me wear this shirt. I paid for it. Look, there it is. Look, I had a business in, in the morgues. And this guy kept saying, he said, man, every time I see you, man, you bless me stuff. He said, I can't find nothing. He said, how you do it? Uh, uh, Jones? I want to pass it in as I pay my tithes and offers. He said, you for real? I said, yeah. Guess what? He stopped paying tithes and offers. He said, I'm getting blessed too. <laughs> Look, he dead and gone. I'm still here. He backslid. <laughs> you don't leave church and die there, you got to be crazy. If I die, let me die in the pulpit. Who? Yes, Lord. You see this? Don't let nobody fool you when it comes to the Bible. They're not your past. They're dreamers. <laughs> Who Go to uh, uh, St. John 10. Go to St. John 10 and 1. Very, very, I say to you, here it is not by the door or to the sheep fold, but climb up some other way. You see that? The same as a thief in the world. Watch these thieves and these robbers. Who is it? Why do you think they try to pass you? They're thieves and they're robbers because they don't... They didn't come up, they coming up the wrong way. <laughs> God didn't design that for them. Who is it? Do what I gotta do, smoke them. Oh, scary cat, scared to smoke them. I told somebody I was talking to, you ain't nothing but a pastor killer. I said, that's what you is. You're a pastor killer. <laughs> hey, I don't care how many pastors go bad. I still believe in that system. That God set up. God will take care of him, but he hasn't changed the system. People could folk going bad, they don't mean the system is bad. God got somebody because <laughs> you ain't got it. <laughs> very, very say to you that he that in the end not by the door and to the sheep fold but climbing up some other way the same as a thief in the world. How you going to be apostolic and you at the Baptist church church out of God in Christ yeah. down there with TDJ you ain't, you ain't real. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a star, you have to start it, Jack. No, let's put it the way. The faith is holiness. Apostolic can go to hell too. But holiness can stand there. Your most holy faith, that's the faith. 
Very bright said to you, he that is not by the door to the sheepfold or climb up some other way, the same is a thief and a what? But he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Read. To him the portal open. And the sheep hear his voice and call his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. Sheep are led. Ghosts is the ones that stuck it. You'll be a good. He said, all the ones, the ghosts on the left side. And the sheep on the left side. Them stubborns always on the left side. There are only two kind of people in the church. <laughs> goats and sheep. And the goat ain't going to follow nobody. But sheep will. Because they're led. And when he put it forth his own sheep, he go before them. You see that? And the sheep follow what? Yeah. See, he go before them. You don't go before them. She got to stay behind to be led. Right, right. <laughs> he go before them. And the sheep follow what? Because yeah. he's before them. They see him. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't see you. <laughs> And she follow who? Yeah. For they know his voice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See that voice? Yeah. Look. And the stranger. See that stranger? Will they not follow? Who see that? You ain't gonna follow nobody. I don't care if they're your kid folks. You're not going to follow them. They're strangers. Jesus don't lie. They lie, but Jesus didn't lie. <laughs> Look. Put up the word strange. So you are strange. No, you are not. You are strange. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Hostile. Strange. Strange talk. Strange doctrine. Who is it? Foreign language. Who is it? Your speech betray you. Yeah. Don't you know when you hear Apostolic, you can hear the apostolic teaching. Yeah, yeah. Right. If you don't hear that apostolic teaching, I ain't found nobody go, I'm friends. Right. I don't want no friends. I follow good doctrine. They got to stay in the doctrine. And I know what is doctrine. Yeah. Because strangers will they not follow. Those are, that's my friend. I'm not. <laughs> if you stay in the doctrine, we good. <laughs> that's anybody. You leave the doctrine, we're no longer hooked up. Because I ain't got no friends. Women. My friend is doctrine. <laughs> Have a problem with me. Quit. If I get out of this, I have a problem with me. <laughs> See what? They're alien. They're from another land. I don't know that language. They're foreigners. Right. <laughs> you sound like religious people. Don't you know religion? The religion got another language. Yeah, you can hear it. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They've been here for a while. When folks start talking, you can hear the the the, 
the, the religious label. Yeah. Right. Who is it? Hey, if he wouldn't have came with they would have got him. He wouldn't have came back home, they would have got him. His wife was already over there. She's a farmer. <laughs> she had the she had the religious language. Yeah. Who is it? So I'm trying to cut that stuff out of her. That's why it hurts so much. <laughs> Cause when we talk, you can tell. Your speech will betray you. The way you say praise the Lord betrays you. They talk another language. I told you, so you ain't apostolic because you don't talk like one. I know how they talk, Jack. <laughs> Y'all remember the apostolic folks used to come here? They talk the apostolic language. And I knew they was apostolic. They just they were just in another organization. Right, right. When about our speech, it's different. We say praise the Lord. That's where they got it from. They got it from us. God the Father. Religion. <laughs> Father God, religion. That's how they say. That's their language. That's how they talk. We got a universal language. How do you just get over here? Who is it? Aliens. <laughs> Who's the alien? Now, ain't nothing wrong with you being religious, but when you get over here, God got to change you through the word. It takes time. I know that. I ain't knocking you. You can't help that. But thank God, God pulled you in. You were about to quit. Thank you, Lord. Go to the one of the religious concerts. They doing everything. Homosexuals everywhere. <laughs> they doing it all right, right. <laughs> under the name of God. You know it. Act like you blind. Act like you can't see. <laughs> when they get out of this. You start to they have they have discos in the church and everything. When you get out of this thing, you think you think it's right. We finally free. We can put up Christmas tree and all that stuff. We can drink. We can open up a place where we have our own club. Look, I see churches open up a bar. They're supposed to be apostolic. They're not apostolic. They're religious now. Right. <laughs> hey, you better off the sinners. You know what they're going to do. How are you going to have a bar and a church too? And Paul, we just drinking, what they call that fake wine and beer. <laughs> Y'all don't believe this stuff happens. I see it with my own eyes. It was down the street from the church I was in. What a dreamer. We used to go home to my and see them in their party. <laughs> this is church. Jay seen it. <laughs> they had a club of their own. <laughs> so they fix it up. And say, we're not selling the real stuff. And, and, and I don't believe that. Somebody gonna spike something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this son of a it's all right to drink liquor. They're teaching that. 
Good. They try to change the way of God. I always, when I was on the street, I always knew them as holy. Good. Look, I wouldn't even say that. God was getting me ready. I didn't know it. I was selling dope. Waiting on a packet with my boy. <laughs> a lady was coming with a Bible in her hand. She was dressed in a dress. She didn't have no earrings, no makeup. She was pretty too. And I was scared to talk to her. And my boy said, look man. He said, a holy road. I said, where? He said, right there, Grace. I said, how you know, man? He said, look at her. She ain't got no earrings. He said, look at her. She don't got no pants. She said, look at her. He don't, she don't look like none of these skanks around here. That's what he said, skank. That's what he said. God was teaching me then yeah. from a sinner. Yeah, yeah. I said, man, how you know? He said, my mama is a sanctified woman. <laughs> <laughs> he was crazy about Jones too, boy. I didn't know he was telling me something I was going to get in. I did not know that. So we was in the car. A few days later, I was smoking weed. I seen the lady going to a grocery store. And I just had a lot of my mind, I, I, you know, I, it, was just, it, was a, it was a pressure on my mind, I didn't know what it was for. I thought I was going to get killed. I pulled over while they were smoking weed. I got out that car, we in that grocery store, and I, had, I wouldn't even look at the lady in her eye. And I walked up to her and put my head down. I said, ma'am, could you please pray for me? And she took her hand, that woman started speaking in tongues. Yeah, I didn't know what she was saying. I said, well, it said it's working. And she said, save him, Lord, in Jesus' name. I heard that. Her hand came off. I looked at her. She looked at me. She said, all right. God will help you. And I walked away. Got in the car. Look, from that day on, everything started going to pieces. I didn't know what was going on. The next day, they ran me out of that city. And I ended up in Iowa. That's how I got to be the church. <laughs> that woman prayed for me. And which the guy told me what a holy woman was. And he pointed her out to me. He said, There you go, right there. And look, I was scared of her. Who hear me? I was actually scared of this woman. Because of what he told me. She prayed for me too. And I still remember what she said. In Jesus name. God knew what he was doing. He was getting me ready. Go back. A stranger would have never followed. A stranger will they not what? But flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers. Do you know what flee means? You'll get away from him. You don't fool with him. At all. Because if you listen too long, you might end up leaving that jump. That's where that boy got that from. He got that from somebody he was hanging around. Then he started believing it. And then he told the bishop. Because he never believed that. He was believing this for years. He started listening to the wrong voices. It's dangerous to let somebody in your ear. He let somebody in his ear. And missed out on new blessings. 